when I found out Las Vegas was getting a hockey team, I was really, really mad because I really wanted Seattle, Washington to get a hockey team. I have a lot of connections to that city and I was pretty upset when I found out they weren't gonna get the new team. So you know what? We're gonna get them the new team here in NHL 17. What's going on guys? It's Mr. Flag 9916 and welcome to a new series on my channel. We are gonna be taking the Arizona Coyotes in franchise mode via GM mode and moving them to Seattle, Washington. It's a brand new feature in this year's BAGM. NHL 17 guys so far is great. As you see, we have GM firing off because the whole point of this is not to be the GM, it's to move the Coyotes to Seattle. So I don't wanna have to deal with being fired or anything, especially because I'm with Arizona, which is a crappy team. There it is right there, Seattle, Washington with Mount Rainier in the background, the Space Needle and all of it. Um, as you see, fan engagement is going to be devoted, market size is medium. Uh, Seattle is a great city to move a hockey team to. They're about an hour and a half drive from the Canadian border, well, more of a two hour drive, but still, that's uh, what we're doing. And what are we going to name our team? We're going to go with the Seattle Metropolitans because here's a piece of hockey trivia for you guys. Who was the first American team to win the Stanley Cup? It was the Seattle Metropolitans, 1911, I believe. So we are basically recreating the original Seattle Metropolitans in this series, which I think is gonna be really, really cool. Gonna play in the Seattle arena, which doesn't exist, but we're gonna make it exist. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be really, really fun. Coming up with our logo, I went with the boat one because uh, kind of similar to what the Seattle Mariners baseball team has. Our colors are going to be red and green because that's what the original Seattle Metropolitans were. Our uh, third logo is in our alternate jerseys will be green and blue because that's what most of the other Seattle teams are. That's kind of the city colors of Seattle. But we're trying to go more for the original team here than we are for the Seattle colors. So that's why we did that. There's our jerseys, home away. Uh, I personally like the home one more than the away one, but the away one's pretty good too. The one I like the most is the alternate one. Look at that, the blue and green looks really, really good together. I'm really, really excited to have that. So after that, we went to create a stadium, and oh my gosh, can you go in detail. Goal celebrations, all kind of stuff. You can even do music. Here's the music I chose for when we win a game and for when we're on the power play. Take a listen. So we also needed a goal song. It took me a while to find what I wanted until I came across this piece and oh, do I like it a lot. Oh guys, I think that is a fantastic goal song. Some of you might disagree with me on that one, but I think that's a pretty great goal song after our goal horn, which I forgot to play, but you'll get to hear it soon enough. It's uh, like a steam, well, it was not a steamboat, it's like a ship, because Seattle once again has that big maritime culture, uh, being that they're on the, not technically on the ocean, they're on the Puget Sound, but for the layman's terms, they're on the ocean, and uh, that's what we're going with. I didn't really care about all this like stadium crap and how much you gotta pay for all the crap tickets and all that, because this is our last season in Arizona. Now we cannot start our first season in Seattle. We have to do one more season in Arizona, which kind of sucks, but I'm not gonna be too like caring about our last season in Arizona because you know, we're moving out of here. So I don't really worry how many tickets we sell because it, I mean, it matters for the money for one year, but after this we're leaving. So it's not my top concern for this year. Um, also, there were a ton of things from the stadium I didn't show you like, introductions and like special effects in the arena, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna save that for when we get later in the series. That way it's a bit of a surprise. Um, our intro and what happens after we score a goal. I will say this, it is super freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. Let's look at our rosters. We have Domi, Datsuk, and Duclair on the first line. Datsuk, I'm going to trade him. Uh, Ryder, Hansel, and McGinn. Uh, Martin Fermet and Doan. Mueller, Richardson, and White. I don't even know all these guys' first names. I know a lot of them, but not all of them, because 
I don't know the Arizona Coyotes too well. They don't have a ton of good players. Datsuk is 38 years old. In real life, he's not on the Coyotes. Obviously, he retired. The game didn't seem to notice that. There's our defense, by the way. Obviously, Ekman Larson is our best player. Uh, Shen's pretty good. Goligoski's pretty good. All of our defense, we actually have a really, really, really good defense. I did a Penguins franchise last year. This defense might actually be better. At least it's like close to the same. But we are going to trade Datsuk because they don't have him in real life. I don't really see a need to have him on my team because he's seven and a half million dollars and he's going to retire. So knowing that the Coyotes are not going to be good this year, we're not going to contend for the playoffs. Obviously, we're in a rebuilding phase. I'm going to trade him. We give him to Carolina for a draft pick and a prospect who's a top nine potential forward. And I think honestly, that's a good deal. It, it clears up seven and a half million dollars in cap signings. So, you know, obviously next year he probably would have retired anyway. Same with Shane Doan, who we're going to trade for a third round pick. So the cap space probably would have got cleared up anyway, but hey, we get a couple draft picks we weren't going to get. And as I said, I don't care for in last place this year because the Coyotes weren't going to be good anyway. I'm going in true rebuilding phase, getting rid of our old good players that cost a lot of money and doing stuff like this, scouting, trying to rebuild the team from the ground up. That is going to be what this franchise is going to be, guys. Here's our final lines. As you can see, our fourth line is not very good. 77, 77, and 78 overall. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of rough. But, I mean, as I said, I'm not trying to be good this year. I'm trying to rebuild the team. I want to turn the Coyotes, who will soon be the Metropolitans, into the Stanley Cup champions. I want to bring it back to Seattle. And that's going to start with this game. This is only a preseason game, but I still want to show the highlights because actually a bunch of crazy stuff happened in this game. Playing against the Anaheim Ducks. And early on in the first period, Anaheim with some chances in front. They're going to miss the net, but we are going to get a penalty. This was one of a ton of penalties that we got in this game. I think we had like four or five penalties against us. I'm not sure about that number, but we had a lot of penalties. It was not good. Um, luckily, Anaheim didn't score on any of them, and whatever. Um, excuse that noise in the background, but we're going to get our first goal on a glitch. Of all things that happened, we get our first goal on a glitch in this via GM series. Take another look at this play. We're just moving up in zone. I tried to pass it back. You saw what I was trying to do. And it goes in, but not off who I wanted it to go off of. I'll take it. We're winning one to nothing. A minute 29 left in the first. And we're gonna put Anaheim on the power play. Yet again, we go into the second quarter. And second quarter, I'm used to talking about football. <laughs> second period and we are going to kill off that penalty as well. Anaheim still has the puck. They're going to have some opportunities here, but we're going to have some good defense blocking them out from any good shots. They just take a weak backhander. Really good defense by the Coyotes. Now we are 16 minutes left in the second. A massive hit by one of our defensemen, and that is going to leave him host. Silverberg, I think that's who that is. I don't know. I think, what did that say? Whatever. Either way, um, Silf, Silverberg. However you say that. He got pancaked, and I hope he's not hurt too bad. I hate to hurt someone in a preseason game. I hate to hurt somebody at all. Here's what I don't hate to do. Score beautiful goals like that one. A massive pass up the ice to White, and he's going to go all the way and deke at the very end, score the goal. Beautiful play right there. We are up. Two to nothing in this game. So good start to the Coyotes preseason right here. I'm actually surprised that I was playing this well because I have not played much NHL since probably about May when I stopped doing my Penguins franchise on NHL 16. Anaheim gets their first goal there, so it's now two to one. And then that's gonna be it for the second period. We will go to the third period. 17 minutes left early on in the third. We're gonna have a shot and we score. That's going to be a quick play off of a face-off right there. And the Coyotes lead this one of a score of 3-1. to Jamie McGinn with his first goal of the preseason. He's one of our hot prospects. He's going to be a guy I want to try to keep on this team for a while. And that's going to be it for this game, guys. We win of a score of 3-1. to So a pretty good start to our preseason. And what will be the farewell season of the Arizona Coyotes? We will be moving to Seattle, becoming the Metropolitans, and if you guys want to follow this series, it's going to be really, really good, because not only are we moving a team, but we're moving a bad team that needs to be rebuilt. So, it's going to be really, really interesting what happens. By the way, 17 shots to 16, I might update the period length. We'll talk about that in the next episode. 
For now, guys, make sure you rate, comment, and as I said, subscribe if you want to follow the series. We will see you next time. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Mr. Fleg 9916 For now, peace.